A new generation of cyber attackers, such as Scattered Spider, are targeting organisations in ways many security teams simply aren't prepared for. They're not breaching your firewalls, they're logging in, using stolen credentials and social engineering to walk through unlocked doors. These attackers understand your internal tools, your language and your processes. They're not relying on zero days, they're exploiting trust. And when they succeed, as you already know they have, the impact is massive. Operational outages and downtime, customers frustrated that they can't do business with you, large amounts of personal data being stolen, regulatory scrutiny, and overall reputational damage that erodes shareholder confidence. This is no longer just a security issue, it's a business risk. So what makes these attackers so effective? They impersonate employees and abuse your IT workflows. They pivot through identity systems rather than technical exploits. They weaponize your own processes against you. We know that recent incidents have crippled telecoms, financial firms and critical infrastructure, and these attacks are expanding into aviation, retail and insurance. And the reality is the tactics and techniques that they're using are relevant to all industries, but the fallout is always the same executives scrambling to keep their customers and the public at large aware of what's going on, customers losing trust and ultimately, I'm afraid, profits taking a big hit. So what should IT leaders do right now? Well, harden your help desk and identity recovery capabilities. Attackers love targeting support desks for quick wins. Mandate strict verification steps, callback policies, and provide mechanisms for your staff to escalate anything suspicious as easily and quickly as possible. Secure your third party vendors. Your security is only as strong as your weakest partner. Set contractual security requirements. Make sure they adhere to the high standards that you deploy within your organization and audit them regularly. Simulate real world attacks. Double down on purple teaming exercises that mimic identity-based attacks. And, and that helps your teams practice detection and response before the real thing happens. Identity is now the primary attack surface. If your defenses are focused purely on malware and not on identity compromise, you're already at risk. Identity is the new protector.